Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to my channel, Learn Math with Sayyid Ali. Today we have uh, our 11th grade topic, uh, Understanding Angles, Angles and their location in the XY plane. So this question is being sent from my one 11 grader. So this is for grade 11, right, grade 11. So what we need to understand here is basic definitions. So first of all, I would like here the definition. An angle is formed when a ray is rotated about a fixed point. When angle is formed, right? So angle, I will write it here for you. Angle is formed when a ray is located. Angle is formed when a ray is located about a fixed point about a fixed point. What that fixed point is called? Very good. Vertex. That fixed point is called vertex. Right? So in our original uh, understanding we take this on the graph or x y plane as 0 0 so if we have this 0 0 here vertex and this is rotating right array this is array which is rotating so it was originally here and then it rotates to here so what is this being formed angle is formed right this is what the definition is how the angle is formed right this is y y dash and x, x negative. You know that dash means negative. Angle is formed when a ray is located, uh, uh, is rotated, not ro located, rotated, right? Rotated. I wrote for unfortunately. So a ray is rotated about a fixed point called vertex, right? And if you remember from the last grade that what a ray is, a ray is right so ray has got the one fixed point and the other point is unlimited and that's the ray right one fixed point and other point is unlimited or we put up or we put a arrow head and arrow head on the top so that it indicates that it's moving in one direction right what is initial arm so when we make this the so one thing is right this is my indication that where is my initiating arm right Initiating arm is the beginning of the angle. What is the initiating arm? So I would say array is called initial arm at the beginning of the angle. At the beginning of the angle. right so another thing what we can say and can be found only positive x-axis so what is positive x-axis this is my positive x-axis right so this is my initial arm initiating from the positive x-axis right so this is initiating arm a ray is called terminating arm when it is terminating array is called so we have basic definition now terminating arm array is called terminating arm at the end of the angle at the end of the angle so this is of my initiating arm this is my initiating arm and this is my terminating arm right so i have two arms initiating arm and terminating arm hope you are following it and where it is found and can be found anywhere on the plane so this can be found 
it can be found anywhere where it stops it can be found anywhere on a plane so anywhere in the plane so you can understand that it's my initiating arm and then ray goes to rotate and when it rotates it terminate so this is my terminating arm this is my initiating arm two arms are there right so now we have to label it right i said angle there but now i can label it so angles are often labeled with greek alphabets so we know that but we are just revising it angles are often labeled with Greek letter. These are the Greek letters we always use in trigonometry, theta, alpha, and beta, gamma, or whatever we are using the Greek alphabets, right? Another definition is important we, before we go into the um, understanding of how sine theta or cos theta or other trigonometric ratios uh, are uh, rotated into the xy plane, right? And angle theta is a standard form. So what is the standard form? An angle theta is in standard form if the vertex of the angle the vertex of the angle is at origin zero zero or origin right zero zero or i can say origin right so this is my origin so this is in a standard form what i have shown in the diagram is in a standard form because its vertex is at origin and its initial arm lies along the positive x-axis and its initial arm lies on the positive x-axis and you can see in the diagram that we are following that definition that angle theta is, is in a standard form so this is my standard form what i have drawn here let me take another pen so this is my standard form standard angle right i can say standard angle or standard form of the angle d-a-r-d standard form so what we have to see we have to see that it is it's at origin vertex is at origin this is vertex where it is originating right vertex is at origin zero zero right vertex is at origin and its initial arm is at positive x-axis and we can say that its initial arm is at positive x-axis this is my initial arm this is my terminating arm right so if sometimes a picture is given a one one marks question and it says that okay if this is my angle and this is the arrow terminating arm and this is my theta and question is saying that this is my initial arm this is my terminating arm so the question is saying this is my initial arm initial arm this is my terminating arm right This is my terminating arm. So what we are seeing here, this is my positive x-axis, positive x-axis, this is my negative x-axis, positive y and negative y. So what I am seeing here is that this is not initiating from 0, 0. So that means it is not a standard form. It is not a standard form. Hope you understand. It is not a standard form right so for a standard form angle to be standard form the vertex should be at zero zero initial arm at positive x-axis 
and it is terminating anywhere in xy plane. So angle can be positive or negative depending on direction. Angle can be positive or negative. So we add another thing here because that that may come across in our questions. So an angle may be positive or negative when depending on direction depending on direction counterclockwise is positive angle counter clock wise direction is for positive angle I will write positive angle so what I have drawn here in the my first picture is a positive angle because it is counterclockwise so it can be anticlockwise uh, counterclockwise is anticlockwise so a negative angle is formed the clockwise rotation is there so clockwise right clockwise direction is negative angle negative angles so now we know that when the angle is negative when the angle is positive how the initial arm is starting from the positive x axis so this is all what we have to learn as like the basic understanding of the angles so i can repeat this for you and then we will uh, be having some questions where we have to see that where theta is is located or where the RAA we have done some exercise for RAA related acute angle right Re related acute angle but here we will be learning that how the principal angle PA and the related acute angle are formed because of these understanding right how the angle is formed so after this i will having a question for you this is just the basic literature what you need to understand before going into the so i will be having another video that will be called part two of this understanding angles so hope you like this video just try to uh, understand it if you have any question you can always write me back in the comments column or at my email s underscore shahid underscore ali at hotmail.com uh, so subscribe to my channel uh, press the bell icon button so that you can get the part two of this video hope you understand and like the video so share it within your family and family friends and thank you for watching